South Australia has named its new child protection chief executive after an international search. Jackie Bray will take on the top job during an ongoing crisis after the deaths of two children. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised this story contains the images and names of deceased persons. SA's new child protection boss has revealed her top priorities. I stand for accountability. I think it's clear that um, accountability is something that needs to happen and I'm non-negotiable really about transparency. Where we need to look at the sit stand, what we need to do to stand and build a collective system around a supportive, protective and responsive child protection system. Jackie Bray's appointment follows the resignation of former Chief Executive Cathy Taylor after the deaths in South Australia of two children from alleged criminal neglect in the space of five months. The state government denies Cathy Taylor was pushed to resign. The child protection is a very, very important job that government does. It's also one of the hardest jobs that government does. Cathy Taylor brought a lot of strength when she took over and was part of implementing the Nyland Review recommendations. Jackie will bring another set of eyes, another approach, to also support that department. Jackie Bray has been in senior government for more than 16 years. Her previous roles include education and correctional services. She says she enters the role with an immediate focus on addressing the overrepresentation of Aboriginal children in the DCP system. They have a right to experience and nurture um, and have the fulfilment of, of any child that is in this state. Um, and I have a, a strong belief and a view to ensure that, as, as a guardian of those children, that they, they access that. Stephen Egberts and his wife Jeanette Wells became advocates for vulnerable children after their grandchildren Amber and Corey were murdered alongside their mother by her partner in 2016. So many notifications, just Amber and Corey left to, left to rot. They had no value to anybody there. The, the only way forward is to have these people accountable for their actions. The people that left Amber and Corey to die are still in the Child Protection Department. Mr Egbert says the changing of the guard has not provided him with any confidence in the department. We, we hope and pray that, that someone does to finally stand up. But the history of the department over multiple decades and our dealings with how this government thinks these should be dealt with, dealt with gives no reason to suspect that anybody's going to jump up and do something different. Ms Bray will begin her five-year term as Chief Executive next month. Monique van der Hayden, Sky News Adelaide.